Hi everyone, uh, I'm Saket. Uh, I'm a PhD candidate at University of Southern California. I want to start off with uh, thanking the organizers, both ISCB and uh, OBF and BOSC, for giving me a, a chance to talk about my package, PySRADB, which is a package for downloading, uh, querying metadata and data from NCBS Sequence 3 archive. NCBS Sequence 3 archive is a repository of next generation sequencing datasets. It has uh, a collection of all the public data sets that exist out there which have, which have followed next generation sequencing. Uh, the, corresponding, uh, data, the, uh, the corresponding repository for uh, gene, which is specific to gene expression data sets is called GEO. These data sets have been made, these repositories have been made possible, have made it possible for uh, uh, us to test any novel hypothesis and they serve as a test bed for uh, uh, for making, uh, for reproducing any analysis that has been done in the literature. However, um, there are a few problems uh, with getting both the metadata and the data. The accessing this data and metadata is not as easy as it should be. So uh, while developing a database for a PhD project that I'm working on, I encountered a few key problems that hindered uh, obtaining both data and metadata from uh, these two resources. I'll walk you through what those problems are. The first problem uh, that you face is uh, getting the metadata. Uh, this metadata is required because any sample or any sequencing that was done has a corresponding label attached to it. It could, rep it could reflect what condition that particular sample was sequenced on. This is done right now through NCBI's uh, web interface. So you go onto a web page, you download the run, run info table, and you get a sequence, uh, you get the, uh, you download, uh, you, you get a a uh, text file which has all the metadata related to it. Okay, imagine doing this for uh, hundreds of thousands of projects. If you are building a database which has multiple data sets, this, doing this manual process is going to take ages. The second problem that comes uh, while accessing this data is because this, um, just to give you an overview as to how the data is organized, the data sets at SRA are hosted in terms of projects each project has multiple experiments. These experiments are reflective of what condition uh, a particular sample was sequenced in. And each experiment, which is referred by here as SRX, has multiple runs associated with it. It could have one run, it could have multiple runs associated with it, which are basically reflective of uh, technical replicates in most cases. So in order to be able to replicate the entire analysis of the entire project, you want all these files to be accessible. Right now, that's made possible by uh, using FastQ Dump. It's a tool uh, made available through SRA tools by NCBI itself. FastQ Dump, uh, FastQ Dump requires uh, accession IDs, which are the run IDs here, the SRRs. So now again, in order to be able to replicate the entire analysis, you want to be able to download all the files. However, you are com uh, since FastQ Dump requires accession IDs, you do not maintain this hierarchy of the project that you require downstream. And the third problem comes because of the interpolation that you require between GEO and SRA. So any data set that gets submitted to GEO, which is specific to expression data sets, has a corresponding SRA ID associated with it. In order to, able, to be able to download the raw data associated with this GEO project, you need the corresponding map to the SRA project, which is given by the SRP ID here. In terms of uh, the current problem, uh, in order to be able to uh, uh, find out what that corresponding project is, you again need to go to the GEO website and find out what particular project it pertains to. So in order to, able to be able to address all these problems, I came up with this tool, which is called PySRADB. PySRADB basically allows you, uh, gives you a seamless access into uh, both downloading the metadata and the data from NCBI's uh, sequence read archive. It is designed so that you do not require any uh, programming uh, background. It's, everything is built up as a command line tool. Both uh, metadata retrieval and data retrieval happens through command lines. So I'll start off with solutions for uh, examples. Uh, so the first solution is, the first example is uh, getting the metadata. You can just type on uh, PySRADB metadata and gives you the metadata for, for an entire project. The second uh, uh, thing that happens is, uh, the second problem that I addressed was about getting the data. Uh, so you, in principle, you can just do PySRADB download, and it downloads the entire project rather than downloading individual files. I just also want to wa point out it supports the recent change that has happened in uh, SRA, where SRA is now moving to Google, Google Cloud Storage rather than FTP. 
Um, in terms of uh, the third problem, it also allows interpolation between uh, SRA and GEO, so you can convert GEO ID into SRA ID on your command line. Uh, this is published in F1000 Research, so I also want to use this opportunity to thank the reviewers, uh, Simon Andrews and Ryan K. Dale. And finally, um, I'm presenting a poster on this today. Uh, it's poster PO1. Uh, it's available freely. The, the tool is available freely on GitHub. It's licensed PSD. It's also available as a package on Bioconda. And I also want to use this opportunity to thank uh, this travel uh, my travel would not have been possible uh, had it not been uh, the award from Open Bioinformatics Foundation and also uh, ISCB's travel award. Thank you.